had my shower. I even put on a little makeup. Clean clothes. New day. And I'm off to work. Hopefully my hair will dry. My hair stays wet forever, especially if I put it up in an elastic. So yeah, I just uh, shower at the Y. I have a membership there. And last year, well, up until January 1st, it was free to have a shower. And then come January, I go in for a shower and they wanted uh, me to buy a day pass. And I said, well, how much is the day pass? And they said, well, you're a senior, so it would be $10 for the day. And I said, well, that's pretty steep because I'm sitting there doing some calculation. If I have a shower three times a day, that's $30 a week times four. That's a lot of money just for a shower. So I thought, okay, well, there's got to be a better way. I said, how much is a membership? And they said $16.95 every two weeks. So I thought, well, that's at par with, you know, 30 bucks is is at par with every other gym around, give or take. And I said, what does that give me access to? And they said, the gym. That's it. Well, yeah, if you want to go swimming, you got to pay extra. Oh, really? Okay. I said, is there a membership that includes not the gym, but pool? And they said, no, the membership includes the gym. Go figure. Like, they really get their money's worth. Anyway, so I ended up buying the uh, gym membership because I, I wanted a shower. And there's one room in there, one shower that is in its own room with a toilet and a sink. And it does have the chairlift. So it is designated for the handicap. But it's more frequently used by people like myself because it's kind of nice to go in there and have some privacy and you take your time and I don't have to shower communally, which I absolutely hate. I hate it that there's just these teeny tiny stalls and you know a thousand people have used it and the curtain barely covers anything and you've got to leave your stuff in you. There's no shelves or hooks for, for towels. Well, there's one hook for a towel, but if you don't have the curtain closed properly, your towel gets soaked. So I really don't like the communal showers, but I will use them if the separate handicap shower is um, being used. So for $16.95, I get as many showers per month as, or it's not $16.95 every, it's $16.95 every two weeks. So let's say 30 bucks. 30 bucks a month, I get to shower as often as I want. The more I shower, the cheaper each shower becomes. So if I have one shower, it's 30 bucks. If I have 30 showers, it's a buck. You get the idea. It's not the most ideal situation, but it's that or paying 40 or $50 a month for a gym membership. And at least with this membership, I do get a discount on the pool and they do have other things going on like yoga and stickball and like all kinds of games and stuff like that. But you can definitely join in choose. Pickleball, that's what it is. I've never played pickleball. I have no idea what pickleball is. If you know, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Tell me what pickleball is. So I've got a ton of time. I kind of have it in my mind that I start work at 8.30. No, 8 o'clock. The office opens at 8.30. It is now 7.15 and I'm headed to work because I'm ready for work. 
So I might end up going in a little early today, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So it's a beautiful rainy day. It's only, according to my car, 14 degrees, which is usually off by a degree or two from what the weatherman says. So if the weatherman says, oh, it's 16 and my car says 14, I have a tendency to listen to my car because my car is where I am and the temperature for the weatherman is usually taken up at the airport. So that's up at a higher elevation and it's further away from me. So, yep, temperature could be 16 at the airport, but it's 14 at my car. So I think I have time to go and get myself another coffee. It's going to be one of those days where it's cold and damp in the office. So I got my Timmy's and I thought, oh, I'm not quite ready to go to work. I decided that I would like to sit at the beach and drink my coffee for a few minutes anyway. It's only 7.30 and Technically, the office isn't open until 8.30. So I thought, okay, fine. I will sit and enjoy the beach. Let me show you. So this beach is called Silver Beach. It's very wheelchair friendly. It's not big. But it's nice. And sorry about the wipers, but it's raining. So there you have it. That's where I'm having my coffee this morning. And then this becomes my little garbage bin. Second coffee of the day. I drink way too much coffee, but it's so good. And I got myself a muffin. And I noticed that I'm really disappointed. You're paying more for the muffins. I'm really disappointed because you're paying more for the muffins, but like it doesn't even go above the you go to like a place like country style and they're like this high and they're huge. These things are small. Very disappointing the way things are going these days. Prices are going up and the size that you're buying is going way, way down. Like even bread, I was, I remember when bread went up to, it was like a dollar or 20 or something like that. I used to be able to buy two loaves of bread for a dollar. I remember those days and have changed because they were 49 cents a piece. Now, bread is even smaller. So it's gone down by about four slices give or take. I don't know the exact measurements, but it's $3.50 for a loaf of bread. Like, seriously? No bloody wonder I don't eat bread very much. When I get my bus, when I get my bus, I will be making my own bread because I'm getting a fridge with a freezer. I'm not getting one of those little chest things. I want a real fridge. So I am purchasing a, I think it's a 7.5 cubic foot. So it's an apartment size fridge freezer. And for just myself, that's more than enough room. And I will be making bread dough and freezing it in smaller lumps. And when I was living alone after my boys moved out, I made bannock a lot. I loved bannock because you could bake it, you could fry it, you could deep fry it if you wanted to. I suppose you could even cook it on top of a, a stove in a pot. And it was nothing to make it. And sometimes I'd make it with cinnamon and butter and brown sugar. And sometimes if I knew I was having, say a roast beef sandwich, I would make it with onion and garlic. And I put all kinds of ingredients in this bannock. I put raisins in there and a little bit of cinnamon and some brown sugar and I 
put on like um, apples. I'd boil, uh, chop up some apples and kind of half-ass cook them. So I had sort of like an apple thing. <laughs> it was really, really good. It's the easiest bread in the world to, to make. So I want to start doing that. And the nice thing about it is it really doesn't take any time at all to make it. I mean, sure, it's convenient to open a bag, take out a couple of slices of bread, but the, the bread nowadays has got so much preservative to make it last on the shelves longer. I'm, I'm very leery of that. I would rather have flour and uh, soda and a bit of salt and some fat, you know, some butter or something like that. I'd rather have that on hand and make my own bannock bread every morning that I want it than have a loaf of bread that's going to last me a month. That's kind of gross. Anyway, that's my thoughts for this morning. You have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I need more subscribers so I can give up that pizza job and have a great day. Love you as all. Bye.